mark it. 98 take one, A only mark. Uh, we are here in Portland, Oregon. We are shooting the uh, remake of the Swedish thriller Gone. Um, it is a essentially a 21 day shoot, it will be in total. And uh, we are uh, dealing with some uh, challenging but exciting uh, shooting conditions out here. And uh, we came here for the uh, incredible landscape, which is a major character in this film. We had a wide release of the original film in Sweden and also in some of the other Nordic countries. We sold the film to about 20, 25 countries on three continents. John Hyams, our director, he brought us the script. Uh, we had just finished working with him on another film called All Square, and we had a fantastic experience. He's an incredible director, and we said, uh, we'd really love to do something with you again when you have a window. Well, Gone is about a woman, Jessica, uh, who's about to move. Uh, she packs a car, a trailer, and heads north. And along the way, she encounters a mysterious man who proceeds to abduct her. She's able to escape this, only to find herself alone in the woods, being hunted down by this man. And that is really where our story kind of takes off to another level. And it's essentially a woman versus man, woman versus nature struggle. She is a normal woman. That's, that's the thing that comes up first about her in this story. She's a real woman who's had some tragedy in her life and is trying to start out new and fresh. And through the film, we discover the profound amount of strength that she has. I chose Jules because I had actually worked with her once before um, on an episode of television. She made a major impression on me in just uh, one day of working with her. She's just this really incredible actress that had somewhat been flying under the radar. I'd never worked with Mark before, um, but I have uh, mutual friends, other actors who've worked with him. Uh, Michael Kelly, a close friend of mine, worked with him on Generation Kill for HBO. We actually had all just watched Ozark, and we loved Ozark, and we, were, we heard his name. We we're like, this is incredible. If we can get Mark Menchaca, that's fantastic. Yeah, I, I thought, the, I mean, the writing was incredible. I read the first 20 pages and I was like, this is fun. This is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, so this has been one of the more challenging films to try to put together. I think everyone feels like we're making something great, but everyone is, uh, the, from cast to crew, is pretty beat up from day to day. We're in Oregon, we're in the woods, we're in the rain, we're in the mud, we're in swamps, we're in the elements, and it's cold. So what that does is it actually takes the demands off of your acting <laughs> because you're in it. Before I got in the shower, I had, I had a layer of med, mud like this thick. I love that every day we go out there and, and try to overcome these challenges, and by the end of the day, I look at the footage and I'm, I'm very pleased with what we're getting. We're so grateful to our American colleagues who came on board and helped us make this remake into a reality. Mike McCary, which we've been working with uh, for several years in this project, and also the producers at Paperclip and at Millhouse. I think the audience can expect uh, a lot of scares. <laughs> what I love about this story is just it's everything that you love in a thriller distilled down to its bare essentials. The expected may happen, but the unexpected might overrule the expected.